Good afternoon guys. So today we are reacting to uh, one video from Linus Tech Tube. So have you ever question? Yeah, have you ever bought anything from wish.com? I know I have. And did you get what you were looking for from wish.com? Well luckily what I bought was I think it was like watch or something luckily what i bought still surviving yes it's not original and i got okay results but sometime when you buy a certain thing from wish you get uh, shit products like for example you buy a, a carpet and you get a mouse pad or uh, you get a um, um i don't know a dress that looks so beautiful on the picture and you'll get a tiny doll size uh, thing or you will get a um like for example which is famous for tech stuff especially graphic card you can get a uh, um let's say a rtx 3090 but you will get maybe a gtx 760 maybe you'll get so anyway those are the things I wish is famous for, which is mainly run by a lot of Chinese Chinese products. So therefore you will get wow factor from the picture, but you will get shitty factor when you when it's around to you. So anyway, so this guy is going to his name is Linus and he's amazing. He's built computers. I've watched so many videos of of him um yeah so he pretty much bought i think he brought all the things that he requires gpu cpu uh you know sorry graphic card a power supply uh, cpu uh ram memory case everything you need from to build a computer and from all from wish only so let's see how it goes um you think it will boot up uh for me personally i don't think it will boot up but let's try it now we know it's been done already but come on in fairness we thought about doing this a long time ago it just takes a while for hey, so look young from wish.com you guys loved our amazon and monoprice pc build so much that we couldn't resist the urge to do it again but in with wish. a sketchier twist so uh strap on guys because i can pretty much guarantee oh, something that this is not gonna go no it won't go again but i should have found a better get some food guys our sponsor yes bless my sponsor are suspicious or behaving badly Check it out yes my computer feeling very suspicious all right step one put on my ltt hoodie lttstore.com step two let's start unpacking this stuff so first up is our case. You can tell that it's super high quality because even with my weak sauce left arm, I am easily manhandling it here. Let's go ahead and do a nice little peel for you guys. There's more than one peel, right? Second and a peel inside. Oh, oh, that was not a good peel. You know what? The case though actually no feels bad. better quality than the plastic cut. Ooh. Oh crap! I bent. You already bent. <laughs> <laughs> So I was holding it by the I.O. cutout and I actually warped it a little bit. I think I'll pick it up the way you're intended to from now on. Features wise though, this actually doesn't look that bad. We've got three front USBs, including a USB 3 power reset, uh, front ports. We've got, wow, an easily removable magnetic fan filter with room for That's a couple of 120 mm. So nice. I would like to one of those. I want to one of those. Ooh. What appears to be a 120 millimeter RGB yeah. fan. Although it may just be that the label is red, green, and blue. Uh, the side panel mounts in like this tempered glass style, but this is in fact an acrylic side panel. And then check this out. It's got that punched out style 
uh, back panel, so you've actually got a little bit of room for cable management back here. I mean, not a ton. A little bit. But a little bit is better than nothing. That is a weird fan. Like, it's a 120 millimeter frame, but those blades are tiny. So this is what I'm talking about. Look how big the blades are on that 120 millimeter versus the other one. <laughs> it's like a 90 millimeter fan in a 120 millimeter frame. It's got this, like, thick frame on it. It's weird. Now, this is a cool feature. You've actually got color coding on your switches and your LEDs here. And it seems to correspond to the colors that at least some manufacturers use. I'm pretty sure Asus uses blue for reset. How much should we pay for this thing? Nine what? So apparently to say what good. not actually a great deal on Wish.com. At least it has a tempered glass front panel. All right, let's open up our next mystery package here. Ah, a motherboard. What is with all the bubble wrap around this thing? I mean... <laughs> Survived! Survived! There it is. It still looks like it got drop kicked. So there, there's a couple takeaways here. One, all the extra packaging seems to be justified. And two, the way that they're applying their extra packaging is not very effective. Oh. oh. So that's interesting. Yeah, this motherboard is not that at all. Um, Full testing, okay. Mm. All right. So this is clearly a very used board. Was it clear from the listing that it was going to be used? Okay, how much did we pay for this bad boy? $46 for an H61 board? That's not even a good deal. Why do people buy this stuff? And like, do you know how much these socket covers cost if you buy them in bulk? I know. Pennies. They put a piece of paper in. Look at this. That's it. That's their that's their socket cover. Now, in fairness, it doesn't look like there are any bent pins, so that's good, but it's still not how I would have preferred it done. All right, we also apparently have a CPU, and it comes in what looks like a compact flash card case, which I guess is kind of cute. some writing on it. It's an Intel Core i3-2130. I guess this was just what CPU they had that was compatible with what board. You guys think we can do run 1080p? 50 bucks? Seriously? This is a ripoff. So already, for the price of this CPU and motherboard, we probably could have gotten like an old Dell business PC that would have included case, power supply, uh, probably a drive, some RAM, and we could have just like thrown a graphics card in it, but... So I was informed before we started that I actually have two options for coolers. I have this Great Wall heatsink cooler. I am kind of liking this. This is actually very like similar to the old Zalman flower coolers that used to be popular back in the socket 754 days. So that's candidate number one. And candidate number two is actually an AIO liquid cooler. I mean, it shouldn't surprise me, given that they're all basically made in China anyway. But this looks Look nice. very, very similar in materials and construction to what you'd get from an AIO cooler that you purchase just normally off of Amazon or whatever. Tubing-wise, like seems like the materials they're using are okay. It feels like an aluminum radiator. It's pretty light, but that should be fine. Except that there's a copper block, except that some manufacturers do that. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're crazy. Okay, you know what? If the AIO fits, then we're going to go with that. But uh, it's no guarantee that we're going to be able to get it in here because even though this does have mounts for dual 120 millimeter fans up here, that doesn't mean that there's going to be enough clearance once we install a power supply. Uh, and no, in fact, there isn't. So it looks like we cannot use our AIO cooler, and we are unfortunately going to be stuck with our regular heatsink. So how much were each of those? Eighty dollars. So our theme continues of our prices not necessarily being outlandishly bad on these ones. I'd say eighty bucks for like a, I don't know, kind of decent looking AIO is fine, but it's certainly not special. Right, so it should just be a matter of throwing our clips on here. And clip one. And clip two. Give it a little wiggle. And plug in. 
Did we also buy RAM off Wish? Oh. There it is. Oh, wow. That is some... What uh, kind of RAM is that? Hey, they... Wait a second. Wait a second. I am pretty sure that they don't have the rights to use this image. So this is the Seki High Performance DDR. And you can tell that they're really high budget and care a lot about their packaging when they use the same packaging for everything from DDR3-1333 to DDR4-3200. Like, ah, eh, it's some of this. Something like that. Let's go ahead and install this stuff. So this is uh, DDR3-1333. I'm super glad we spent money on this. How much did we spend? $40 on uh, eight gigs. You know what? I think that's actually not entirely unreasonable. The funny thing about memory is when like a new memory spec, like DDR2 or DDR3 or whatever, uh, just comes out, it's really expensive, and then it gets cheap when the entire market adopts it. Then it gets expensive again when it becomes like old technology and it's more niche. Niche, uh, niche, go, indeed. Friends. I'm gonna plug our case fan into the bottom. I'm of so cold, by the way. I don't know. Wow, that's really it's not curious. temperature not high enough. You know, it actually looked okay. It looked fine so far. Right there. But it is pretty unexceptional. Like, check this out. Our bottom fan here, which is pre-installed, and it seems to me that the reason it's pre-installed is that almost none of the other fan mounts are even going to be accessible because of the tempered glass panel here and the power supply here, actually interferes with what would be the bottom slot if we had a full four-slot MATX motherboard. Like this, this thing, this thing is not very well thought out at all. Now seems like a good opportunity to get back to our solid state drive. Uh, a straight drive. It's another Vaseki product. This is the V800 256G. At least this one is clearly labeled. Wonder 56. But I do have to wonder if this is kind of an old box. Like, didn't Sandforce get acquired like a thousand years ago by someone? I'd be surprised if it even uses a Sandforce controller. Wow. Oh, it just. It just comes apart. Well, maybe we can see what it uses. This is nothing to do with Sandforce whatsoever. It's a Silicon Magic controller, but not the one that's listed online, which is actually- You can't just open it. This one SATA 3, unlike the SATA 2 one that it says this product uses. Unfortunately, this is in fact a DRAM cacheless SSD. There is no RAM on it whatsoever. And we did a video about that a while back explaining why that is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. And in some cases, you might even get better performance out of a mechanical hard drive compared to a cacheless SSD. So um, there you go. I mean, it's nothing we didn't already know, but we wouldn't recommend this. Let's install it in our computer. How much did I pay for that? Fifty-six dollars. I mean, capacity Yikes. for capacity. That's Fifty-six dollars for for like a piece of crap SSD like this one. That's not a good deal. Oh boy, when your SLI still uses a lowercase i because you haven't updated any of your materials since like 2010? <laughs> oh boy. What's that? Now Is that the graphic card? Connectors here. So we've got two. Ketchup base, which just are, like mine. A uh, Molex and a SATA. Wow, this wiring. It's so cheap. Even the plastic for the connectors feels cheap. On a positive note, I do think we have all the connectors we need. Four pin for the CPU, 24 pin for the motherboard, six pin for, oh right, graphics card. So. Graphic card. This one, we're pretty sure is a ripoff. Actually, how much did, speaking of ripoffs, how much did I pay for this piece of garbage? $31. 31 bucks? That's overpriced. Not that you should ever use even like a good $31 power supply in like a decent machine. Uh, power supply is one of those things that's just not worth it to cheap out on. And wow, look at this thing. So if I had to guess, I would say that this is a 460 Ti or a 560. What is it? A 1060? It doesn't even have a six pin power connector on it. 1060 my ass. Wait, 
NVIDIA's 10 series doesn't even have VGA support. Oh, you. How much did I pay for this? $25. 45 bucks. Well, at least the price was right. All right. Let's go ahead and install this Love. piece of hot garbage. It's funny. Now, That's what happens when you buy things from there. To be the one that comes with your mounting screws, but either they fell out of the gaping hole in the bottom of the box or they just weren't included. So what we're going to do is we're going to salvage um, a couple of what appear to be power supply compatible screws, but that seem to have been intended for expansion cards. So what's our total bill for the tower? $380 with the air cooler option. That is brutal. You can make a nice that budgeted so much more than I computer that works now, just to play Minecraft or CS. I don't know is for that much how true money. any of the manufacturers' claims were about their products. To find that out, we're going to have to actually install Windows on it and fire it up. But before if we it do works. that, of course, we're going to need some peripherals. Let's start with the Zulang Wolf. Rainbow light K16. That look nice from outside. Is it really? Wow. Thin? This Very may light. be the lightest keyboard that I have ever felt. Then also from the same brand, I think, although this time it's in Chinese instead of English, but it's the same logo here. Uh, we've got some kind of gaming mouse, I guess. That is quite literally the spongiest click that I have ever felt on anything. You can even see a lot of that travel is being absorbed by the PCB underneath. See how much that port is moving? Nice. Brody. Okay, this I've actually seen. This mouse pad is a pretty good deal. All right, how much did the peripherals cost us? And that includes the mouse pad? Well, at least the price is right. I now. have that mouse pad. These are definitely but it's not like from uh, dollar worthy peripherals over yeah, here. Yeah, it's from All Amazon. Right. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Our epic gaming setup is now ready for a Windows install and a gaming test. We'll be right back. All right, so we're getting some games downloading. We're going to get some drivers installed. But before we do that, I've got an update for you. This power supply was even worse than we expected. Okay. Not only did it suck, it didn't work at all. So okay. we had to pull in just a, a TX750 in order to get the system powered up at all. The good news is that once we did that, we were at least able to get Windows installed. Yeah, it's clear by this point that this is not a build that you guys would want to emulate, but get subscribed if you're not already because we're going to have a Ryzen build guide coming up pretty soon. It's going to be more... Uh, yeah, watch that guys, it's amazing. Now let's take some time to explore what kind of hardware we've really ended up with here. Yeah. So we'll fire so, up hardware info, fire up our device manager, and uh, see what we're looking at. One thing I figured out already is this computer is not very fast. All right, so we're going to start with device manager here. You can see all of our drivers auto-installed for like our chipset and all that kind of stuff. It's older hardware, so Windows just knows what to do with that. So. It turns out this is, in fact, a Core i3-2130, so that's good, I guess. Okay, all right, gigabit ethernet, blah, blah, everything here looks fine, but we don't have a GPU driver yet, so that's not showing up. So it says here we've got a GTX 1050 Ti, and we've actually got the NVIDIA drivers unpacking in the background here, but we fire up hardware info, and this is hilarious. Sandy Bridge processor, fake NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti fake. It's not, it's not, one fake is not enough for this. Two no, one fake. <laughs> so this is a GF116, which if I recall correctly, is Fermi. That is an old, old GPU. Unfortunately, because it's not reporting anything here, we have no way of knowing at this time which one it is. So the only way to find out is going to be to try and get some real drivers installed so that it can hopefully identify itself correctly. It can. So, let's try the NVIDIA installer here and see what happens. Oh, wow. It successfully installed the driver. It still reports as a 1050 Ti. Interesting. So I thought we were actually going to have to install off the included driver disk with, like, these hacky drivers on it. See, that looks really legitimate. But it seems like the driver did manage to install, and they have even tricked NVIDIA control panel into thinking that this is a 1050 Ti. Now, with that said, we haven't tried to launch a game yet. 
All right, so we've run into our first hiccup. While attempting to press Alt-Z to see just a quick and dirty frame counter in the game, um, I got into GeForce Experience here and went to configure my settings. And theoretically, we meet the system requirements because we have a 600 series or higher, but in practice, the, the configuration button just doesn't work. And when you go to press Alt-Z, nothing comes up because no, this is not in fact a 600 series GPU. Love. That's what happens. So we're just gonna have to eyeball it. But it's crazy, isn't it? How they, but it still works though. It's not bad, it still works. Oh, no. So the good news is this is running smoothly. The bad news is that this is Rocket League. It's not exactly known for being a particularly demanding title. And I'm dead. Loss. We found our problem. What? Fermi only had HDMI 1.3. So that was limited to 2048 by 1536 at 75 hertz. That's a little bit, not quite enough for 2560 by 1440, 60 hertz, which is the native resolution of this monitor. So when we try to run it, uh, confusion ensues. So I think the last thing for us to do is figure out exactly what, what graphics we have here. So we're going to go ahead and run 3D Mark. We're going to use the DirectX. They might just tear it up. And we're going to have a look at what kinds of systems perform similarly to ours in GPU performance. And it crashed. What can you tell me about this error? The workload produced no results. So this could be either of a couple things. Uh, it could be that 3D Mark was expecting the GPU to support features that it in fact didn't, and yep. some kind of Which error doesn't occurred. Animate. Or it could be part of 3D Mark's anti-cheating procedures to double check if something is misreporting itself as something else, so that people couldn't, you know, flash RTX 2080 Ti's to. GTX 1050 Ti's and then, you know, completely dominate the leaderboards. Um, either way, it looks like we will not, in fact, be able to run 3D Mark to validate what our graphics card is. Which, at this point in the video, I think is fine anyway, because it really doesn't change the conclusion. Anytime you're buying something and what you get is not oh, what you get. said it was, that's a bad deal. And, frankly speaking, even most of the things that were what they said they were going to be weren't amazing deals either. So the old adage definitely holds true here. If something seems too good to be true, no, it probably is. I think yeah. the cooler is about the only thing in this computer yeah. that I think look cool. is even remotely worth getting. It's got pretty cool RGB lighting effects and for what, 17 bucks? I guess it's all right. Speaking of all right, our sponsor. Knock, knock. I don't want any. Ha, get it. I don't have to say who's there. Not the same. I've got a ring doorbell. Ring wants you to know who's at your front door without even getting up. And the ring doorbell oh. camera kit includes their video doorbell too, spotlight cam, and solar You should screen. get it. It's amazing. The video doorbell too has a motion sensing camera with 1080p HD resolution and 160 degrees of vision. Anyway, that's all I think. And it's powered by I think they do tear up and to find out what uh, doorbell wiring. The it spotlight is. camera is 1080p as lightest. But quite like the cooler. It could be part of the old adage. The cooler is nice, very nice cooler. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much all. Um, line attacks, go and check it out. Um, obviously, don't buy anything from Wish anymore or either Alibaba or AliExpress, whichever. Just don't buy it from any cheapest places, even eBay. Just be careful. Like I say, when you buy, you buy and don't complain because you bought it and you didn't get what you want. And uh, things buying from Wish, you will not get a return or refund for it. Okay, so don't buy anything from Wish. Just chill out, do your thing, blah blah blah. Buy it from locally or buy it from someone you know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and take care of yourself. Bye.